What is going on guys? Coming at you today with another video. Today I'm installing an iPad dash. Yeah, so here's the iPad. It's the iPad 4 mini. It's uh, I think it's the 128 gigabyte. It's the cellular. I got my Verizon hooked up to it and everything. So it should be pretty sweet. So here is the Retro Customs iPad dash kit. We got paperwork, Retro Customs warranty information, I guess. And then uh, here's the actual dash kit right here. So I guess we're gonna open it up. And then I got some foam, I'll show you what I'm gonna use that for. And all that good stuff, so take this out of the box. All right, so when you get this, it's not gonna have this felt on it, you guys stick that on yourself. And this cord also isn't gonna be epoxied in like it is. Um, I had this on my old truck, so I already had this all epoxied in, which you have to do yourself. And also I put the felt on the back, which comes with it. So pretty much you have to pull off this bezel and then you pretty much take it apart. You're going to see how I do that. And then the only thing you have to really cut are the sides of these. This is the old pieces from my last truck that I cut off. I saved them, I don't know, just because I guess for reference or whatever. So I know what to cut next time. And then the foam, I'll show you what I use that for too. Um, that's kind of like my own DIY type thing. We got David pulling up right now. Uh, pretty much this mod is something I had in my last truck, so I know how to do it already. But um, So here's the iPad, and you pretty much get the iPad put in right here, flush mounted. So it looks pretty clean, it looks pretty cool, and it's nice to use on like GPS and stuff like that. So I personally like it. Um, so that's pretty much how you do it. Right, so I got that all mounted and installed. So now you gotta feed your cable. I actually, I don't know, I don't know if you can tell, but I uh, I unepoxied it because it was all messed up. So this vent right here is what you're gonna feed the wire through. So you'll see what I'm saying. Feed it through, you plug this, plug it in. All right, so once you get this all figured out and all mounted, this is when you gotta start messing with this. So in order to use all your AC controls and your volume, you have to use this motherboard. Um, you gotta take this motherboard out and then you gotta stick it up in there. So now what to do with this motherboard, you gotta keep this plugged in. So you're gonna plug this in and it pretty much sticks back here and stays out of the way. But I don't like how flimsy that is. Ah, yeah, I don't like that. I feel like that's gonna mess something up. So I like to tuck it in this foam I have. I used this on my last truck. You stick it in there like this, ready, watch.
guy, so I got it all installed. I got the iPad in, and I got the iPad Retro Customs dash kit in now. So check this thing out. I got music, whatever I wanna to listen to, it's all right here. And pretty much how this works, a lot of people, I'm sure you're gonna ask, since you lose all your controls here, everything you need is right here. So you got your volume. So you can go up, you can go down, and pretty much your whole climate, when you wanna decide what you want for AC, look, you got your heated seats, you got your AC seats, you got your fan speed, you got your temperatures all right here. Just, I love how, I don't know, I just love the double screen. It reminds me of like a Tesla almost, just how big it is. But you know, you got your iPad there. I mean, whatever you wanna do, you just click. You're in, watch YouTube, subscribe to this guy's channel. I mean, anything you wanna do. I mean, you can go on his channel, watch all his videos. <laughs> but I mean, on the real, um, it's pretty cool. You can have all your music here. I mean, it's all, it's all right here so pretty much it's cool how I like how it shows up there and how it shows up there I don't know I just like the look of that really the install isn't too bad it took me maybe I don't know 30 minutes to an hour to do it it really wasn't that hard um, I have done it before though so I guess that uh, makes it a little bit easier but um, I videotaped a lot of it and I know it wasn't fast forward but I'm, I hope that you could uh, get a good idea on how to do it it's really easy um, really not too complicated at all pretty much one of the main things though that I like is the foam thing that I did how you tuck back the motherboard back there there's not really anything online on how to do that but um yeah that's about it um I think it came out pretty good all right what up guys it's the next day um we're pulling up to the tint shop right now actually to get my truck tinted I'm I might be getting it to I'm not 100% yet but we're pulling up um gonna see what's up say what's up to my boy Nas he uh, owns Top Line Tents and Audio here on Pine Island Road. But um, yeah, we're about to pull up and see what's up. So we're gonna uh, hopefully get this thing tinted up today because this tin is not cutting it. Gonna get this thing looking right. Is that good? Nas is filming me, Look and I'm good. filming Nas. Not bad. He installed himself a nice little iPad. What? You like the iPad? That's sick, bro. It looks really good. Simple, clean. I just put that in yesterday. Nice. You want a job over here? Yeah. I'll take a job. I don't no, got a job. It's too expensive, man. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like it, though, more than most trucks that come in here. I'll be honest with you, the, these models, I do like them. Yeah. The Platinums? Yeah. They're nice. You, sh you never saw my white one. I'm not into the Lariats. Yeah. The, uh, I, I like having fully lo having it fully loaded. Or the wrench, whatever it is. Yeah.
got some monies for you. Thank you, money. You know, they say don't spend it all in one place. We're recording. Yeah, cash now. <laughs> all right, man. I'll Thank hit you up like next week or something. Appreciate it. No when that wrap comes in, and then uh, I gotta fix my windshield. Yeah. But uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, go take a picture. I'll hit you up. He's got, she gotta take a picture. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. You don't want to wait till we do the rest? We'll do another one then. Yeah, we can do another one then. So we're leaving top line tents. I got the truck halfway tinted up. I did the back and I did the front. Um, but I still have to do another layer of five over this, and I still gotta do 15 on the shield. But um, we're gonna hold off on that because I get, get I gotta get my windshield fixed because it's cracked, and also these have to dry before I tin them um, again with another layer. So we're gonna wait till next week. I also ordered some wraps, so that'll be pretty cool. All right, guys, so I hope you guys liked the video. Like always, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna drop my Instagram right here so you can check that out. You can get like an early sneak peek on all my videos. But um, I hope you guys are having a good day and hope you guys like the video. All right, guys. Peace.